Hey everyone, in today's video I'm going to be doing a first impression on this product right here, which is the Hourglass Arch Brow Sculpting Pencil. I've been really curious about other brow pencils lately, and this one was really interesting to me just because of the design of it, and I thought it would be a great item to do a first impression on. So what the Hourglass Arch Brow Sculpting Pencil is, is it says that it's a brow pencil which has the benefits and techniques of a powder, a pencil, and a wax. It's supposed to give you the look of like a multi-dimensional, fuller, natural looking brow in one easy step just with the pencil that it comes with here. This brow pencil is available at Sephora. It is $37 and there are three shades available. There is blonde, soft brunette, and dark brunette. I do have dark brunette. So the actual tube of the product looks like this. It's a little bit large in size. You would almost think that it was an eyeliner because it is quite big. It is double-ended. So on one hand, we actually have the product and it does have a triangular shape for a little bit more precision. It is a retractable pencil, so you just twist it up and product comes out. And I will show you how much product you do get in the brow pencil. That is how much product you get, which is quite a lot of product if you think about... Um, how much product some brow pencils give you. So that is a lot of product. And then on the other side, there is a spoolie. The spoolie on this side, I would say is quite large for a brow pencil, but in like relation to the rest of the pencil, it's, it's a pretty good size for it. I have swatched a couple of strokes that I can create with the brow pencil. You can go from really thick to really thin, and you can do it more intense or less intense, really defined, or more of a buffed out kind of look. So now I'm going to show you the arch brow in action. So I have here the Hourglass Brow Pencil and I do have it in the shade Dark Brunette. I'm just going to take the cap off and swivel it up a wee bit here just so I have some product. I'm just going to do my eyebrows how I normally would. Um, just I usually draw on the bottom just to really define the arch, fill it in a little bit on the top and then really give it a little bit of definition. So I'm just going to do it the same way I normally would. this up a little bit more. I find that it's quite hard to really get precision because this is such a huge base. I'm just gonna twist it up a little bit more there and come from the top. Right along. I find it to be a quite heavy pencil in color. I'm just gonna lightly fill it in here. I'm like hardly even touching myself. There we go. Mm. And then I'm just gonna buff it out with the spoolie on the other end. one eyebrow. I actually don't mind how the front of my brow here looks. It looks really natural there. So I'm going to go ahead and draw my other one. So I'm going to tell you my overall feelings about this pencil now. I feel like it's a great pencil. I liked the formula of the actual product in here. I thought that it was really neat because I could understand that it was like a powder, wax, and pencil all in one. Really neat that way, but I thought that this actual product was a little bit large for my liking. It does have a triangular shape, so you have more of a point up here and then more of a larger tip there so you can fill it in, but I thought it was a little bit hard to get used to because I have been using the Brow Wiz, which is a lot thinner than this, right? So I really like that I can mimic the actual look of hairs. This was just a little bit large for my liking. And that being said, the spoolie on this end is also quite big and I found it a little bit hard to buff it out with precision. But I do like the formula of this and the idea of this being a triangular shape was really innovative and really neat. That being said, the color of this, like the color selection they have, I think is really phenomenal. I think that this one that I have could be really universal for a lot of different girls with different skin tones and different hair colors. I think that someone with really like brown, like light brown hair could probably work with this also. Um, I think it's really universal that way. So overall, I really actually do like this pencil. 
I would continue using it because I do like the look of my brows and I really do love the color of them. It looks really natural to me and I love the shade. So I'm gonna give the Hourglass Brow Pencil a thumbs up. So that's it for my first impression. If you wanna follow me on Instagram, you can. It's BaileyBeautyXO and I'll see you later. Bye.